ஒருவருடைய கடமைகளை செய்து கொண்டு போகும் பொழுது அது ஆத்மீக பாதையில் இருந்து அவர்களை வேறெங்காவது எடுத்து செல்லுமா அல்லது தன்னுடைய கடமைகளை செய்து கொண்டு போவதுதான் ஆத்மீக பாதையின் லட்சணமா இதிலே ஒரு வேற்றுமை அல்லது முரண்பாடு ஏற்படுமா அவங்க கேட்க வர்றது என்னன்னா ஆன்மீகம் என்றால் என்ன நாங்கள் எங்களுடைய மனதை நிலையான ஒரு உயர்ந்த ஒரு பக்குவ நிலைக்கு கொண்டு போவதற்கு வேண்டும் என்பது ஆன்மீக போதனையாக இருக்கின்றது ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி டேக்ஸ் அஸ் டு அ பர்டிகுலர் வெரி ஹை லெவல் ஆஃப் கான்சன்ட்ரேஷன் ஹை லெவல் ஆஃப் கண்டிஷனிங் அப்படி இருக்கும் போது உலக லௌவீக எங்களுடைய அன்றாடு கடமைகள் உலக லௌவீக அன்றாடு கடமைகளை நாங்கள் செய்கின்ற பொழுது அது எங்களுடைய இந்த உலக வாழ்க்கையில் பிறந்த பின் ஏற்படும் கடமைகளாக இருக்கின்றது இந்த கடமைகளை நான் செய்வது என்னுடைய உயர்ந்த ஆன்மீக நிலைக்கு தடைபடுமா so doing one's duties in my daily life in my worldly life will that have a contradicting effect or will that be contradicting the spiritual high path that is expected of me in spiritual life naan aanmeega paadayil or uyarna nilaikku poga nilikiren i am expecting to go to a very high level in the spiritual field in the piraviyil in this life அதே நேரத்தில் என்னுடைய கடமைகள் எல்லாம் வந்து என்னை சுத்தி நிற்கின்றது அதை செய்ய தவறியவனாகி விடுவேனா அதில் குற்றவாளியாகி விடுவேனா சொந்தங்கள் பந்தங்கள் உற்றத்தார் உறவினர் எனது பிள்ளைகள் என்று கடமைகள் வருகின்றது அதை செய்ய தவறினால் தவறா so but because i have relationships towards so many people my children my parents my friends and so on by having not to by not doing any of those uh, duties will there be a contradiction in this or should i do those and will that accept uh, act as a contradiction to the அதை நான் செய்து கொண்டிருக்கும் பொழுது எனக்கு இறைவனை முழுமையாக நினைத்து அவனிடத்திலே தியானம் செய்ய முடியவில்லை அதுவும் ஒரு தடையாக இருக்கின்றதே is acting as an obstruction in the spiritual progress of the mindset velakku pogum bodhi panathai ulaikkum bodhi enakku theviyanadhu seiyum poludhu en manavi alla en kanavani tiruthi padutum bodhi adhil naan eedu padum poludhe adhum oru velaiyaga naan seigindra poludhe enakku aanmeegathukku neram kedaikkavillai adhai naan seidhu kondrundal ஆன்மீகத்தை மறந்து விட்டேனா என்னுடைய கணவன் என் மேல் மிகுந்த அன்பு செலுத்துகிறான் நான் அவன் மேல் அன்பு செலுத்தவில்லை என்று எண்ணுகிறான் நான் அவனுக்கு அன்பு செலுத்திக் கொண்டிருந்தால் இந்த பொய்யான அன்பை செலுத்திக் கொண்டிருக்கிறேனே இறைவன் மேல் அன்பு செலுத்தவில்லை என்பது அர்த்தமாகி விடுமா my husband loves me so much but he thinks that i do not love him so by virtue of the fact that i am thinking of god and my i'm thinking my obligations towards god does it mean that i am i'm falling from the standard set upon me in order to do my obligations towards my husband in manavi mel naan vaithirukkindra paasathai enakku kaatta neram illai iraiva 
தெய்வா என்று நான் நினைத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கும் பொழுதே I am unable to show my love towards my wife when I am so involved in divinity in my obligations towards God and therefore there again there is a contradiction that comes up. Naan enna seiyiren? What am I to do? Ungalude kelvi kul poondu vitten. So at the moment I have got into your questions. Adar kul poondu neethi paathe. I got into it and I swam uh, I swam around in order to see what exactly is at the back of the mind of this question all of the boy with the men right down deep into it unru me theriyavillai unable to understand anything poliyadhu meiyadhu endru purindukollamal irupadhukku thaan artham endru kandu mudithukonde so i found that not knowing what is right what is wrong what is uh, truth and what is falsehood that is the crux of the problem amma ni ummai purindukol so i would say please understand the truth thaye ni ummai purindukol oh mother know you know the know the ulagala uiga vaalkil andraadu kadamigalai naan seidhu kondirukiren endral adu ulagala uiga kadamigal If I am doing or performing my duties in this worldly life, that is worldly life, and that those are obligations in the worldly life. And the karma ke liye bade vary. Those obligations are separate. Naan yehi muluda ve yehi mein nadar thila apni padi yehi bade vary. But surrendering myself to God, that is a different thing. Anbu yehi bade yehi. Two, there are two types of love. உண்மையானே <laughs> that is a love which does not expect anything in return it is simple love giving of love naan anbai kaattugiren anbai kaattugiren anbai kuttugiren anbaga irukiren ondrum enakku thevai illai i am showing love i am giving love i have nothing i expect nothing in return for such love அன்பை காட்டுகிறேன் உன் உடலை விரும்புகிறேன் உன் அன்பை விரும்புகிறேன் உன் பேச்சை விரும்புகிறேன் உலக லௌகத்தை விரும்புகிறேன் இந்த மாயை விரும்புகிறேன் என்ற ஒரு அன்பு so there is a second type of love i love you i love you i like you i like to speak to you and i am expecting something back in return from you and uh, i am so enamored by the illusory life that is in front of me so that is the second type of love and engalukku or attachment sollugirade adhi sex um varugirade so there you have attachment there you have sexual or sensual relationship எல்லாம் வருகிறது एवरीथिंग कम्स देयर உடன் பிறப்பு வருகிறது உத்தரதார் வருகிறது பந்தம் வருகிறது பாதம் வருகிறது நண்பர் என்று வருகிறது ஆல் தி ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் बिटवीन யுவர் ब्लड ரிலேஷன்ஸ் யுவர் फ्रेंड्स யுவர் एवरीबॉडी who comes into your life that also comes that relationship is also part of that love இந்த அன்பு எதிர்பார்ப்பு நிறைந்தது but this love expects something in return anbillamal anbai katta naan onnum maramalla i am not a piece of wood uh, not wanting something back in return and but to just give love anbai katta indha ovvoru valum anbai edirpaarkara every person who gives love is also expecting something in return or pandai eduthu sivathil ariyum bodhi andha pandu thirupi varuvathu pole edirpaarthu naan anbai kaattukiran when you throw a ball on the wall it comes back bumping down so it is in the same way when anyone gives love they are expecting something back in return ungalukku anbai edirpaarkamal anbai kaatta mudiyadhu you cannot give without without giving ex- ex- you cannot expect love to be given without expecting something in return 
That is your way. In the Anbukhati, you are very glad. There are two people who have shown love to each other who are coming here. Even our in Anbukhati, our even in Anbukhati. They like each other, they love each other. Even the Yeruvar in Yadabar, the Manbu, Kadal in Varigindra, Kadal Anbu. So the love that they expect is love that comes out of love. So what they ask for when they ask for blessings is that let us be together and let us love each other and let us be together. Without fighting. Without fighting. Let there be understanding between us. So it is expecting that that they come and ask for blessings. And Man asks me. He asked me that he would like to show love to God. At the same time he is asking, let me also show my responsibility to do my duties. Both are correct. This is this and the other one is the other. So for a worldly life, this is good. For the uh, spiritual life, that is good. So it is according to your conditioning or your desires. If you love to have a spiritual life, that is good. If you like to have a worldly life, this is good. But if somebody asks, I like to have both, then what do, what do we do? So we are always wanting everything. I like to show love to God. I like to show love to my Guru. To you. Both I want. What to do? So think of yourself. Where were you born? Why were you born? What are you doing? How long are you going to live on this world? What is it that you are going to take when you leave this world? The person who praises you today might criticize you tomorrow. So both, the, both aspects are there in man's life. Understand this. This is duty. Yesterday I told you that the mango tree which I planted has forgotten me. But I am unable to forget the God who has sent me to this world. I am unable to forget the divinity. Despite all the trials and tribulations, the problems that have that beset me, despite that, I am unable to forget divinity. Why is what is that reason? What is the reason for this? Because I have true love. I don't expect anything in return. 
உங்களையெல்லாம் அவன் காத்து ரசிக்க வேண்டும் நீங்கள் எல்லாரும் கடவுளை நினைக்க வேண்டும் It is my wish that all of you must think of divinity. நீங்கள் தெய்வீக சக்தியை நம்ப வேண்டும் அந்த தெய்வீக சக்தி உங்களை ஆசீர்வதிக்க வேண்டும். You must believe in God and God and God must bless all of you. நீங்கள் இறைவனை சொற்ப நேரமாக நினைத்துக் கொண்டே உங்களுடைய கடமைகளை செய்யுங்கள் தவறு இல்லையே At least for a short time, think of God and then perform your duties. There is nothing wrong in that. Agave, karma is not done. Ulaga lavi kanbu, iraiman mail katte kandanbu. Lavi ka matra, tuhi mayana, prey mai anbu. So there are two types of love. One, one that is worldly and one that is pure and uh, a love towards divinity which expects nothing agave irandayum inda puradiyil pirandha naan seidhe agavendum so we have to perform both in this life since we have been born into this life neengal miss padi vidaadhe so don't miss the opportunity kadamigale seiyungal eppodum do your duties at all times velaigale seiyungal do what is expected of you ulaiyungal can continue to do your work in order to ellam seiyungal do everything Whatever you like, you can continue to do. But don't forget divinity. Don't forget the divinity that is within you. அறிந்தும் அறியாமலும் தெரிந்தும் தெரியாமலும் புரிந்தும் புரியாமலும் அவர்கள் செய்த தவறுகளை மன்னி I am always asking the divinity please forgive these people they may have done it knowingly or un- unknowingly wittingly or unwittingly by some accident or deliberately whatever wrongs that they may have done please oh lord please bless them please forgive them that is what i ask of divinity yen avargal thavaru seigrargal why do people may do mistakes of a cause or they may do seigrargal not not they want to சந்தர்ப்ப சூரனால் செய்து விடுகிறார் அவர்களை தவறு செய்ய ஆக்கி வருகின்ற அவர்களை நாங்கள் பார்த்து பாவம் பார்க்க வேண்டும் So we must feel sorry for such people. Pakkuva matta manida nalla vaayi. Because they are not perfect at people. Aar arivu irundhaal. Though they have six senses. Aar nidatthi pilaigil teriyamal irukkundu. The, the wrongs that they do or wrongs are not known to them. Agave, iraivan ungalai mannikiraal. Therefore, God is able to forgive you. Ungalirathil endo uro bad energy vara muriyadhe. No bad energy can come anywhere close to you. Nichiyama maradhiyadhe. So when I say this, if the electricity does not like to hear it, but still it is the fact that i am always there by the side of each and every one of you uh, blessing you and none of these negative energies will come anywhere close to you karnam ungalodu reason i am always with you ungalodu naan irundal ungalodu viraiyil irukkar If I am with you that means God is within you. Ungalu Swami Premananda irukkara rendale kadavul ungalu irukkara. If Swami Premananda is within you then that means divinity is within you. How do I say so? Ennulle irupavan iraivan God is within me. Ennulle avanga deiva shakti da. Eppozhum nerai It is his power which is always pervading my whole entire being. So when I am coming into or within you does it not mean that same divinity will come with me to you or into you? I am Prema Rasi nothing. I am Prema Rasi is nothing. 
So by performing your daily duties, you continue to do your to commit your responsibilities. Do not think that therefore divinity would not come anywhere close to you. No, that is not correct. Despite your doing all your duties and everything in your worldly life, divinity is sure to come into your life. Second question. Uh, is it part of spiritual development to feel and to take on oneself a part of the suffering of others? Matavulya Tunbate Tanadatil Etu Kulvade Atmika Varkail Kuru Angama Avar Sevadu Atmika Tiku Puriada. Either Kini Unna at Pani Kevin. You must dedicate yourself for this. Unna at Penita Pin Unno de Sende, Palarim Adarki, Ileke Vendum. After dedicating yourself to it, you must be able to galvanize the support of others to also support you in this venture. So it is necessary to, to build up a, a great, a large group for this. You cannot, you cannot do anything singly, by yourself, individually. So the answer to your question is, this is not something that can be done by you personally, but it is something that, can, that has to be done with the help of a large number of other people. But at the same time, I have an answer to your question. Ask those people to think of God. But he is not, the person who is suffering is not in a position to think of God. So before getting them out of the crisis in which they are, it is necessary to to improve ourselves, to understand everything and to improve our, ourselves. Spirituality is, a, is an ocean. Actually, the, all the problems, trials and tribulations that people have in this world is like a river. Just a small problem, you should not enlarge it into a very large problem. You better first prepare yourself as to what you should do. So you must have the proper environment in order to function from that uh, proper environment. If we are to do a service, we cannot do it all by individually, by ourselves, singly. Always we have to join together and do it on block. Don't feel sorry for them. Why? Because there is nothing that I can do for them. When I am unable to do anything, to just simply feel sorry and then to always say it's, uh, they are feeling sorry and remorse, that itself is a sin. The question is, how can the devotees help Swamiji tomorrow 
during the Shivaratri night. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. In a mandarate, Uchelpade, Swami Kitchi Chanting Om Namah Shivaya is the help what you can do for Swamiji during the Shivaratri night. Ungarude Manadil Andru Guruna Lavade Yelate Marande Om Namah Shivaya in the Namate Vinayinga. At least on that particular day, you for, in your heart, you forget about everything and chant the mantra Om Namah Shivaya. Adanal Yenaku Udavi Seva the Buddha Palamadangu Ungarak in Ingele Udavi Seva. By chanting this mantra, rather than helping me, you are helping yourself more. Ungala in Ingel Pakua Padatu the town. Swami Kilingal Sariya, Piriya Udari. Making yourself mature is the biggest help what you can do for Swamiji. Nani Ndi Mandade, Ungalikki Om Namah Shivaya, Enbadai Sulvadakitta. I came here to teach you Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya, Enda Mandaratil, Saramsam Yellam Adanga Patrakanda. Worm Namasivaya in the Mandiratil Anit Saram Sangalam Adanga Patrakanda. In the mantra Om Namasivaya, uh, the crux of all spiritual teachings is there in this mantra Om Namasivaya. Arguably, the essence. Ungaliki or Anmi Ragasiandan, Om Namasivaya. So it's a spiritual secret, this Om Namasivaya, which is given to you. Ning Om Namasivaya in the Mandarate, Ucherit Kunde, Ungal Manadile, Irakanda Purut. When you chant Om Namasivaya and continue to chant so in your minds, and they we have Uli. That light, that divine light would shine within your minds, in your hearts. When everybody together chant Om Namah Shivaya, in that place you can be rest assured the div divinity would be residing there. The, the power of divinity would be coming over there. Ingyo Yirkindra and the divine energy they went to one place and upper Ningal Yellar and the Om Namasivaya Mandra the Ujjalitu Kondra Kumbul Angi Devi or light Ungal Katari Yamal Ungal Kanda Katari Yamal Ungaluria my can mori kundarandaram, Ungalayalam, Abadi Sutti, Sulai Bhagandari, Nan Kana Kuria Dagirku. So when everybody together chant Om Namah Shivaya, they, there is a light which engulfs you. You may not see the light because of your inability to see, but I could see it engulfing all of you and giving its blessings to all of you. And the day that you are that divinity which is pervading everywhere must be called by some name. Any one particular mantra or na name, you could call it. And the mandram, panchachra mandram. So, such mantra is this panchachra mandra, Namashivaya. Om Namashivaya. Hindu Vedam, Veda Sastram, Veda Nulgal, Veda Sastrangal Solaganda, panchachra mandra tildal. So the Vedic texts tell us that it is in this Panchachra Mantra, this five syllable uh, mantra, 
it contains everything that is necessary in order to draw divinity towards us andre kalathil munivargal devargal rishigal arulalargal ellorum kangalai moodikonde andha panjacharam mandalathaye so in the ancient days the saints and sages they used to keep their eyes closed and the, knowing that this mantra is able to draw divinity towards themselves they have been chanting om namah shivaya want uh, getting the blessings of the ever pervading divinity through that mantra towards themselves aagave thaan avargal indha bhoomiyile irundukonde இந்த ஒன்பது நவக்கிரகத்தையும் காட்டி அந்த நவக்கிரகத்துக்கு ஒரு பேர் வைத்து எல்லாத்தையும் இங்கே இருந்து கொண்டு இந்த மண்ணிலே இருக்கிற அந்த ஒளியை அந்த ஓம் நம சிவாய இந்த மந்திரத்திலே எடுத்திருக்கிறார்கள் that is why they were able to say everything about astrology and astronomy with regard to the planets all that is going around in the heavens they were just seated in the bare soil of this earth and say all these things because they were able to extract that uh, the the crux of uh, all everything the, of that wisdom through this one mantra om namah shivaya endu naan sollavillai ஒளி <laughs> ஒரேட்டி <laughs> having five syllables om namah shivaya in the mandiram or periya shakti va in the mandiram this is a very powerful mantra il kadugalavu kuda sandekam you don't have to have a little bit of doubt even on that neengal mugichi seidu paarunga but please try try you say we should take good care of our body but if we have a serious illness does it hinder us on our path to enlightenment or on the other hand can it just help us to progress and move more quickly engalude udalgalai naangal kavanamaga paathukolla vendum endru koriyirukkirgal aanal engalukku oru migam koduramaana edhavadhu oru vartham vandhundal அப்பேற்பட்ட வருத்தம் வருவது எங்களுக்கு ஆத்மீக பாதை போவதை தடை செய்யுமா அல்லது அதுவே எங்களை ஆத்மீக பாதையில் போவதற்கு ஒரு உந்துகோலாக முன்னேற வைக்குமா இந்த சரீகரம் ஒரு நல்ல சரீகரம் அன்பாக கவனித்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் பாசம் காட்டுங்கள் அதோடு அன்பாக இருங்கள் அதை நோக விடாதீர்கள் அதன் மனதை நோகப்படுத்தாதீர்கள் உங்களுடைய சரீரம் ஒரு நல்ல சரீரம் என்று பலதரம் உங்களை வலியுறுத்தி வருகிறேன் is looked after properly appadi and anbu kaattigindra udambu naan paasam kaattigindra udambu or noyaga ponal naan enna seivade so such a body if it falls into some serious illness what am i to do endra or kelvi that is the question that has arisen naan unme chonnal kon kelvi If I tell you the truth, don't get annoyed with me. Ningal ungal mel anbu kaatta vilai. You have not shown love to yourself. Anbu kaatti vilai. Ungal udamukku noi varadi. 
if you have shown love to your body, if you have shown care to your body, you would not have got the illness. How could you have love? How could you have such a serious disease? disease? How could you get this such a disease? <laughs> In the cave, we have a suit, but we have a translation. Because this question suits him, so he can't translate now. Because he wants to enjoy that. Enjoy translation. If they enjoy, then they cannot translate. So, for example, from Sri Lanka, Vigneshwan came to the ashram, and when he came to the ashram, he had a small illness. So he was very upset. Why I should have such a sickness? Okay, so when Swami comes, everything will be okay, well and fine for me. As soon as I came to the ashram, next day he was cured and he was well and fine. So what's the reason for that? The reason is Vigneshwaran didn't hand over that sickness to me before itself. He just thinks. Why did you give this sickness to me and you don't take care of me and you don't... He, he always fights with me. Why are you fighting with me? God is there above me. So you think of your, uh, think of the God wholeheartedly and then just be like that. Be happy. He is doing that, that person is doing this, my son is like this, my other son is, he is doing that. My daughter is this. My daughter is like this. My mom is this, my daddy is this. My mommy is like this and my daddy is like this. My boyfriend is not loved to me. My girlfriend not loved to me. My boyfriend cheating. So like this, how much problems we have? So you have all these in your brain and because of that you yourself don't take care of your own self. You don't show love to yourself. You just think a little bit. Let us say that you are tired now. So then what should you do? You are hungry now. What should you do now? So you must talk yourself to your own mind saying that why are you hurrying me? Now Swami Premananda is giving a satsang so be patient and get along with me. Till, now so, Swami is going to finish at 1 o'clock so until then be patient. I have come such a long distance from Swami's flight. We should not waste our time here. Now there are no saints or sages or avatars who gives replies to the questions. What do you ask? Illa kebil kum badil terang kuli, ini mana itu kremanu datang. 
Premananda is the only man who gives replies to all your questions now. Whatever question you ask, I have a reply for you. I have all the replies in my heart. I know what you are going to ask and I also know what I have to give the reply. Not only that, I also know that you are going to come today and I should talk with you. I also know what you are going to ask me and I am and what reply I am going to give to you. When I uh, the, uh, call you for the private interviews, I can uh, already tell the reply what you want to uh, ask the, for the question what you want to ask. But if I do so, then you will be frightened. I don't want to frighten you. So I want you to be free. So you should make yourself happy. Say, uh, you, you are going to ask all your questions to Swami. <laughs> when I hug you, then you are happy, uh, Swami didn't hug me. <laughs> I am doing all this to satisfy you. Nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> There is nothing like this in the spiritual grace. My only thought is that you should all should be happy. That's why I am doing all this. So what I want to tell you is if you show the true love towards your own self, then you won't get any sickness. Even if you have any sickness, if you show true love towards your own self, then it will fly away from you. The sickness arouse because of you confusing your own self. You frighten yourself. You sometimes threaten you. Sometimes you cheat your own self. Why do you do that? Why are you frightened? No one can do any harm to you. There is no one higher than God. No one superior to God. In this world. So why are you frightened of other things? Believe God. Have faith in God. Have self-confidence. Be, live courageously. Smile and live. Do your work, earn money and think that what you earn is enough for you. Don't think that it, this is not enough for you. How much money do you have if even though you, you have so much of money, can you eat a full bowl of rice at, at a time? You can't do that. You can always only eat a small quantity. So you, it's enough if you have that quantity, what you need for you. You are going to Dharmasala to have have your lunch. If you just keep on putting the food, can you eat everything? You can't. Yeah. Why you can't? 
for your body this quantity of food is enough in food you have the mind that so you have the satisfaction that this is enough for you same like that, you have to get that mind, satisfaction that money is enough for you and also in this worldly life, you have to have that satisfaction that, you, that what you get is enough for you. In your material worldly life, you have to have that thought that the, what you have is enough for you. And the poor Minta Manam Barbara Kitan, Ungal Kanan Tulgreen, Ungal Milan Bugat Tulgal. To have that thought that every, what you have is enough, that's why I ask you to show love towards your own self. Yen Mutan Milan Bekati Viti, Avan Anbukata will lay in the Kavalek Padrin. Why are you showing love towards others and then you worry they didn't show, give that love back to you? If you show love towards your own self, then you will be satisfied and I can cure all sickness in this world. There is no sickness that cannot be cured. You should show love towards your own self. If you uh, have relationship with more, 10 people, then only you get AIDS. If you show love towards your own self, will you have will you get AIDS? No. Never. So many difficulties and many problems are all because due to others. You show love towards your own self and take care of yourself in a very good way. Even then, if you get the sickness, the meaning is that you didn't show love towards your own self. Vigneshwaran is asking me, Swami, you are showing love towards your own self, then why do you have sickness? This is a good question. You, th you are thinking that I have sickness, but I don't have any sickness. <laughs> you are thinking so, the doctors are thinking so, and everyone here are thinking so. So this is a machine and this is a very old machine. So all old machines always have small small repairs. This is young machine. This is not a young youthful machine. If this is a young machine, then there won't be any repair work to be done. Now the old machine I know by too much work. Now this now I am a very old machine and so also I am giving too much of work on me. When I give too much of work to my machine, then the machine is getting repaired. So this time many of them asked me when I when I saw you last time, you were like a little bit um, Old. Tired, tired and old looking, but this time you are very act, active and you are looking well and good. Many of them ask me like this. 